Hi everyone, I hope you're now happy with your spiral sky. That looks like our famous artist friend, Vincent Van Gogh. Hopefully you've been looking that as a reference. That kind of helps. Now we're going to be adding in the stars and a moon if you'd like to. So with that, you're gonna need a yellow colored pencil or if you don't have a yellow colored pencil, crayon would work also. So I'm gonna kind of do what Vincent Van Gogh did and I'm gonna put a crescent moon right in the left-hand corner. If you're not good at drawing crescent moons, well, you could draw a half moon, you could actually draw no moon, or you could practice it on another piece of paper. So here's my moon, and then I'm going to start to draw some stars. The stars in Vincent van Gogh's picture are just these circles, and they're kind of on the small side, not too big, and he's got a number of them. And they're really going above the spiral and they're even going below the spiral too. So spread them out, make them different sizes and you can place them wherever you want on your paper. Once you draw those circles, then you're going to color them in really dark with your yellow colored pencil or crayon. Now we want it to look like Vincent van Gogh's sky. So what he did was the same kind of technique using the dashes going around all of those stars. So when he did that, he used curved lines. So now they're all colored in. I'm going to pick a star to start working and he puts those curved lines going around in a circle. So just like we did for the spiral, it follows the way the original line or shape works. So as you can see, I just keep going around and around and around. Once I hit that spiral, like right here, I stop, I skip over it until I get my star. And there you can see is my first star. And I'm gonna keep doing it with all the other stars on my paper. Follow the way the circle looks, leave spaces in between, and once I hit that spiral, I stop. And you're just gonna keep going out and out and out probably going to make like three or four rings around that original star. And I'm going to keep doing that for all the stars on my paper, including the moon. The moon's kind of like a spiral, isn't it? So I'll follow the way the moon looks. 